I came across a study today from uh, that was being reviewed by Dr. Nolan. Anyway, he looks like a nice guy, you know, looks like he's fit, looks, looks like he walks the talk. But I think he's, he's drawing the wrong conclusions from the study. Let me give you a little overview of the study itself. So essentially, they took two groups of people over 12 weeks, and they ensured, based on their metabolic profile, that they did not gain or lose weight. One group pursued their calorie intake with intermittent fasting. The other one were basically grazing. I'm giving you a very high-level summary of this study. What they then concluded was that no one lost weight in either group. And also, by the way, no one had any significant differences in glycosylated albumin. And so they said, you know what? Intermittent fasting isn't as powerful as we thought it was. Do you guys see the flaw in this logic? First and foremost, they made sure by definition of the study itself that no one lost weight. And then they said at the end, we were surprised no one lost weight. So I don't understand how that logic works. Second, they were surprised that glycosylated albumin was not modified or changed between the two groups. Guys, glycosylated albumin is not used in medicine to as a proxy for insulin sensitivity at all. It's called hemoglobin A1C. And from what I understand, actually, in the study, the only reason they end up using this, this second form, which no one knows about, is because they had a lab error and they just had to use something. That sounds really shady, sketchy. So I would ask the good Dr. Nolan to repeat this study. And sure, no one loses weight, no problem. But then use different metrics of success. Like what was growth hormone release? What was insulin sensitivity? What was cortisol levels? What was... Um, cholesterol changes, inflammatory markers of various forms. All of these things should be considered and measured, but we can't set up the, the, the study for, for failure by, you know, by definition from the get-go. So um, take another look. I think we're making incorrect interpretations.